Kobe. Nice shot. I just threw away my burrito wrapper and the napkins and all of the packaging that came along with it. But where exactly does all of that go? What were the materials that were used in creating all of those different products? And could those products be reused into making something new? Hmm. And humans, we make a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah, we do. But also, all of this really cool stuff makes some pretty uncool waste. Oh. Think about the phone that's in your pocket or the, the clothes that you're wearing. I mean, just look around at all of the stuff. Most of it, humans made. So we take resources, make something, use it, and then get rid of it when we're ready for something new. When we get rid of something, it becomes waste. And all of this waste is, is really starting to stack up. Globally, humans, we're responsible for two billion tons of waste a year. That's just one year. So how do we start moving away from our current take make waste society and start living like we only have one earth? Which we do. It's as simple as moving our waste from here to here. And that's called circularity. Wow. Sustainable explainable. Mmm. Circularity is at the core of the way that the world works. Not only is it the shape of the earth, but it's how energy and materials flow in and out of all living beings. The sun sends energy to the earth and then plants, they soak up that energy. They take it and grow. And then animals come along and eat that plant. And then sometimes another animal eats that animal. And along the way, things poop and die and then become a part of the earth again. And those materials get soaked back up into plants and the circle of life. Mufasa would be so proud. But our current system, it only moves in one direction. No, not the band. We take, make, and then waste. And that waste doesn't have any purpose or second life after it's done, even in the landfills. I mean, take a look at this newspaper that was dug up from the 1970s. It's perfectly legible and it's supposed to be dirt. Even food mummifies into this like liquid mush that emits methane gas. That's a stronger greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. Currently our society operates like businesses and the economy are the most important things. Let's think about an avocado. Ooh, tasty. We're functioning so that everything works to support the largest things, business and the economy. Within this, both society and nature are used to make sure that the economy and businesses don't fail. However, there's a big issue with this perspective because it's not the way that the world works. The economy isn't the largest or most important aspect of our world. Yes, it is very important, but our environment and all of the natural resources that come with it support all life on this earth as well as human and economic activity. So it's actually reversed. So we need to rearrange our priorities so that businesses and economy can support society and society and economy can support the most important entity, our ecosystems. But who cares? The earth is giant. We're not ever gonna run out of stuff. Well, even though our planet is big and nature might seem infinite, the reality is that it's not. There are limits to what we can take, especially if we're not putting it back. Remember that newspaper from the landfill? So, what do you do with all of this information that I just dumped on you? Throughout the next week, think about what happens to all of the items and products that you use every day. Like, the device that you're watching this video on. Where do they go when you throw them away? Is there a way for you to extend the use of that item over a day, a month, a week, even a year? And remember, every day you get to vote with every dollar that you spend. Supporting businesses and products that are moving more towards circularity is better than the cheaper take-make-waste alternatives. So, where you put your money, it matters. Thanks for watching Sustainable Explainable. If you want to check out more videos like this one, click that link up there. And you can find out more information about sustainability at our website, sustainable-earth.org. And follow us on our social media. I would touch it, but I, I'm in a bubble.